Welcome to this special episode of Cooking with Ruth and Gary. I'm your host, Carrie Gillespie, and I am so excited to be here again. I was here last time, and you guys invited me back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're so, we're nice so happy that you can, can be with us again, and yeah. it's Cooking with Ruth and Carrie. Carrie again. Still, I left that on still. there just for you, yeah. so you can, yeah. even though it's not spelled exactly That's right. That's all right. Yeah. Still, you can the thought is the there. It makes yes. me feel really included <laughs> and loved. So let's get Good. to the food. Okay, okay, well, the last time we made that jalapeno pepper dip, and you really liked that, yes. so we thought we would make another kind of easy you know, dip. And again, I, as I told you the last time, you know, we had everything in the house, which just made it kind of easy to figure yeah. out what are we going to do. So I'm going to let you start by just chopping a little bit of onion. Okay. So you can use like the long green onion, okay? So that equivalency of that. So just okay. chop off a little bit of it and um, finally, and then just finally chop it, okay? okay. Yeah. And then Gary is going to open up um, eight ounces of cream cheese. So the full package is going to be um, going we're in here. We're not doing any halves this time. It's no, we're whole doing a, a whole package. Okay. So it's eight ounces, grab this, of cream cheese. And go. I'm going to put Gary's muscles to work. Oh because, boy. Oh my well, instead of using I don't the... Have, I don't have much of that. That's true. Let's see, I'll instead use using, whatever I have. Instead of using the mixer this time, you're going to be stirring. So it with says, the wooden or the steel spoon? Um, with, with, with the wooden. Okay. So you are going to be mixing. One second, please. Wait till it's in He there? gets so excited. I he get, always has I love to, it. I love yeah. to get started oh, on sorry. this thing. Okay, so, I love smashing stuff. So then we're also going to add four ounces of feta cheese. Okay. Okay. And five to six tablespoons of bacon. But we're going to put just part of the bacon in because, because some of it's going to go on top as well. That's okay. Right. And then Good we are reason. going to add in then the onion. A little bit of onion. Okay. This is so simple. You know, if it anybody is. can't make this, then they really don't like the kitchen. <laughs> so anyway, so how long are you left in March? I'm going back soon. Okay. Yeah, so you've had a good time? I have. There's been a lot of snow and a lot of inclement weather, but you know, that's what you get when you come here. So it's been fun and I'm excited to go back. Yeah, cool. Now, have you seen your husband since you, you came here? I went and visited him once, okay. yeah. Okay. And that was great. It was good okay. to be out there. He's in Arizona. Okay. So I love the weather out there. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Now, I don't know if he experienced any snow where he's at, because I know a couple weeks ago we had a ton of snow yeah. in Arizona. Arizona got was snow. Really got he said that there was snow. There was snow on the mountains. Okay, so, yeah. and he's in like Scottsdale. So, you know, obviously in Flagstaff, which is northern Arizona, mm. there's snow there all the time. But like right. the snow in Phoenix and Scottsdale, like there's never snow there. But he right. said he would drove there the one day and there was snow on the mountains. And he yeah. said it looked so beautiful. I bet yeah. it did. And it was really cool. And it, you know, he's been going there for a couple of years, and he's never seen that before. Okay, so wow. it was cool. Well, I have a sister neat. that used to live in Sedona, Arizona. Oh, beautiful. And I would go out in January, usually once a year, to visit. Yeah. And typically, we'd get snow. Yeah. Everything shuts down. Yeah. The mall shuts down, restaurants. I mean, people just can't function because yeah. they have no, obviously no snow yeah. removal no. for the sun to come out. Yeah, and, yeah two or three but, inches. Yeah. They should, most places in south and in southwest shut down. Two yeah. or three feet in Wisconsin. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You get the snow plows out. You know, yeah. Then, yeah, then we can go. So how are we so doing on it? So blended. it's all soft and blended? I, th I think it's blended the way you want it, right? Okay. So How does it look to you? It looks great. Okay. Uh, you know, we this is actually another new recipe. Ooh. You know, sometimes people will we say... We step out on a limb, don't You know, we? you're doing something you've never done before. Oh, we yeah. do that a we lot. We do that a lot. You know, so yeah, we nice. experiment. and. Oh, was I supposed to put that in there too? No, so that's for topping. That's the topping. Okay. okay. So right. I'm just going to get this out of the way. So you got the rest memorized? You don't need yes. The, don't need so, the rest is easy. So the rest is easy. So you're going to get that toast and you are going to tell our viewers and Carrie how you toasted our little crackers. Do I have to? Okay, well, oh Ruth, yeah, you got to do that. Ruthie suggested I just put them on, a, on an aluminum foil and put them in a broiler for a few minutes and mm -hmm. make sure you watch them, but I'm, I'm a little ADD and I lose my, my attention span's not that good. So what happened is I decided to put them in a toaster, just a regular sliced bread toaster. Of course, these little pieces, they go down into the crevices outside the toaster and they were falling in through the cracks in the wires. So I got out, I unplugged it, of course, and then I got in there with my little tweezers trying to get them out and then they fell all the way to the bottom so then i thought okay i'm gonna really get down in there so went down in there with my fingers and in the, in the tweezers and ouch burnt so, himself burnt no. himself. himself not real smart yeah. so i am not the toaster king no so anyway so what we would suggest is for those of you that have a little toaster oven yeah put in your toaster Perfect. oven or there's always the broiler yeah there's the and broiler just watch the big it. oven will work okay too, so this was just a loaf of baguette yep. that you sliced sliced them up thinly okay 
So, are Gary, we put this so in a Gary, dish or are we gonna just scoop it right? We're out just here? scooping right okay. from there. So Gary is just gonna scoop okay. some on these crackers. All That's right. why I have that spoon in case you want to use for? a spoon in oh, that. I think I'm just gonna uh, and then we're gonna like carry then Ooh, top I get to do the good it, stuff. yeah, with a little you know more garnish of bacon. Okay. Maybe I'll just heap it up. And yeah. And absolutely. Not, not and then we're just gonna oh, garnish. Look at how beautiful Isn't that pretty? So pretty. That. There we go. You get way ahead of me, Carrie. I can't keep up to you. Sorry, Gary. Pick it up. Come on. Come know. on. Pick up the pace. <laughs> keep her moving there, Clark. Keep her <laughs> moving. That sounds familiar. Getting a little bit messy there, Clark. Well, no, I'm trying to keep it fluffy. Keep you know it fluffy. You, you know how you always say fluff it up, don't smash it down. So oh, trying. that looks so good. We have a lot of fun in there. the kitchen. You guys do, you I know. can tell. Yeah. I so, on a regular night making dinner, do you guys? make dinner together or you know like how does that go uh lots of times we just have nacho chips <laughs> she loves, oh stop she that loves yeah, one of my that's favorite, favorite. That's we, our we Sunday did, night meal, isn't it, it nacho is. chips and we cheese we did a loaded with sour cream um oh my God. tostitos you know with, yeah, yeah. with melted cheese and our son matthew actually got us on that a few years ago he said usually like on sunday night they just want to do something easy yeah and that's what they would do so that's kind of what we started so if we have like shredded pork then we just you know melt <clears throat> the cheese on your yeah. tostito chips and just do all your toppings oh my gosh um otherwise our kids give us a hard time because they say why don't you cook more for us yeah, yeah. For, for, for us yeah. it's like it, well, we cook for the multitude yeah. but then sometimes just nice take a break and just eat whatever you have i don't blame you and, oh, and I, I just don't want to take a lot of time in the kitchen yeah so you know so as i look um, at this i'm going to interrupt you but as i yeah. look at this this almost cries out that it could go under a broiler for a yeah 30 seconds it could, a you could, possibly. But this is a cold it's spread. Cold, but you yeah. can make it hot. Or maybe even just, try putting in your toaster. Ah. Uh, Gary's staying away from the toaster. I think, I think, oh yeah, I think that story got me in trouble. <laughs> Gary's toaster um, time's over. Yeah, I just I could feel that going right in my back. I oh. know, right in the back. So, Gary, we need to try yes, one of these. Let's do, it. Hey, let's do it. It's beautiful. You did a wonderful job topping. Mm. Oh, that feta cheese. It's almost like it's a surprise because it just blends in with the cream mm -hmm. cheese. Wow, mm -hmm. so good. Well done, Gary. Thank you. And Thank if you, you don't want to use baguette, uh -huh. if you don't happen to have that in your freezer, you can just use any kind of cracker. cracker. Mm -hmm. Again, yeah. uh, a water cracker, mm -hmm. you know, a grainy, other grainy cracker. You'd have to be a little more yeah. careful spreading it on the cracker so the cracker mm -hmm. doesn't break in half uh, on you. Yeah, or having something triscuits heavier. Triscuits would be good too because they're a little more durable. You can spread it on triscuits. Right. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. So we are so happy that you could join us twice. Yes. Yeah, so this has been really fun. So we have so much enjoyed having Carrie Lippert Gillespie there you go. with us again. Two weeks, two shows Episodes in a row. In a row. Okay. Yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Ruth and Carrie. Oh, and, and Gary. Gary. Hey, yeah, come on. So until next time, <laughs> happy cooking. Stop oh, bragging. You are such yeah, a no cook. Kidding. You put this that back in like... This is after you had a pancake bre breakfast? Actually, from lunch, I made uh, turkey tacos. With Wait a minute. You made three meals in one day? Two. Well, I yeah. Breakfast, lunch, bre and dinner, Gary. Okay. What? Who does that? Who does that? You like one meal. Hey, we used to do that on the just, farm. I didn't have lunch at the mass breakfast. <laughs> on the farm, and the farm, we always had breakfast, dinner, and supper. There you go. Dinner was lunchtime. Oh, supper was supper. That. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, Clark. Okay. What are we doing? Okay. We could all swap clothes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gary, you could wear mine. I could, we could just. There we go. That would be so crazy, wouldn't that it? That would be funny. That would be funny. <laughs>